And who have we got this time? Oh, over by Harold. Okay, then, so it is uh, Cyrus Syriac. Is that Cyrus Syriac? Um, okay, sorry, so we will check by the dragons first of all, just to make sure. Um, see what we can see. Uh, so right dragon still looks asleep, left is not down, no one by the bonfire, quick check, that's a little little tick there on the checklist. So uh, we cleared that area, so we'll head towards the first bonfire, no hollows have been activated either. So likely to be um, either by in the bonfire room or tangling with the Lothric Knights. Yep, chest has been unopened, so the clues are piecing together, they're falling into place. Whoa! Who's this joker? We've got a full Havel, hello to you sir. He's buffing, oh he's buffing and he's blossoming. He, oh, he wants to have some, oh dear, he wants to have some uh, some bonfire jewels. Well that's always fun. That's always fun my man, with your uh, with your 30% health. That's that's always the best place to have, uh, have jewels, okay. So all oh, perseverance, okay very good. I do absolutely not want to swing while you have that active. So we'll just, we'll just space you out, okay. I maybe could have punished there, but I'm not sure how long Perseverance lasts. I'm not sure whether we'd have been able to swing for a third time. Okay, let's just fill you out, mate. Let's just fill you out. That's where I want you to be. That's where I want you to be. I think actually R1s would have been better there. I didn't expect the rolling attack to come out. Um, so I think R1s actually would have been a much better punish. I didn't expect that, and I was going for a big R2. But that's the spacing I was looking for. I was just able to hit him before that second swing came out and knock him out of it. I'm not convinced. Oh, here he comes, but I can trade through. Wow, a fully charged one actually put first of Oh, perfect. Oh, perfect stuff. Well, this is going to be fun. If he's going to be healing up, I really don't have a lot of a chance, I don't think, because um, I can't out-trade him, sadly. Um, <laughs> yeah, I can't out-trade him. I don't know how much damage he was doing compared to me. <laughs> he's buffing up. He was buffing his blue. He's, he's <laughs> Love this guy. He's really getting his uh, green blossoms. I know you're L1 dancing away. I know, but Jesus Christ. It's very difficult to have. Oh, look at him. He's doing running back steps. But he went completely in the wrong direction. Hasn't quite worked those out yet. That's, uh, that's a later part of his, uh, of his game plan. Uh, I know, mate, you can L1 dance me all you want, but it's going to be very difficult to have a... Uh, have a nice little jewel here by the bonfire when you've got the extra health and when you're <laughs> when you're healing away. Plus with the build. Oh no, the very nice. He's had enough of my guff. Um, yeah, this will be tricky to do now. <laughs> Part of he just wants to mess around with his time now. I don't know, but he keeps he keeps going for these perseverances, mate. I really am. I do understand what perseverance does. There's absolutely no chance of me um, going in for trades um, while you're uh, while you're perseverance. Perseverance? Up. <laughs> Whatever it be. So here he comes trying to chase me down. Here come the L1s. I know, mate. I know. You're very good. You're very good. Oh, no. Turn and burn on my own to punish him there. That would, that would just win both L1 dancing now. I think that would have actually caught him out because he wasn't paying attention to it. He was too busy L1 dancing. Um, oh, good R2. Saw that far too late. He's, okay. So he is. Oh, here we go. Here's the poise battle for the age. Look at his damage. Look at his damage, though. That's not fair. That's not fair at all. Okay, so we both um, traded two old ones there. His did about 60% to me. Mine did about 40% to him. So clearly he's got the uh, the defense um, advantage and the um, and probably also the, the AR advantage as well, I would imagine. Um, plus he's got that 30% extra health, which does help him here. Actually, maybe it's just the health that helps him. Oh, no! He's gone to... No, 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 no. I was just going to let him... I was just going to wait him out there uh, because I didn't expect him to be able to hit me. Uh, and I could just let my, um, my my health just tick up slowly. But he went to his straight sword. Fortunately, it seemed to be the... Bu oh, look at it. Look at the confidence from the man. Yes, I know, sir. I know you are going to be absolutely be able to um, out s me, unfortunately. <laughs> look, he's so confident in himself. I know, sir. You have been playing well. Um, but we'll see. We'll, we'll, have, we'll see how I can get on, really. Um, oh, wait, 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 don't just buff, don't just buff in my face. Come on. That's outrageous. Just resonating straight in my face. Not thinking I'm going to go for at least a punish. Perseverance again. That's fine, sir. You do your perseverance, but I'm absolutely not going to challenge you now. I'm just going to be reactive and roll away. Go for a big charge on two. No, he goes for his own rolling R2. <laughs> Love it. It's like a mirror match. Okay, I saw it coming that time. And then very nicely done. Uses the follow-up R1 because it, it's sped up. Thought I might come in to try and challenge. That might, that's a roll catch, though. That's a roll catch. Can I get another one? I can, but that goes into a trade. I shouldn't have gone. Oh, I didn't think I was actually going to trade off with him there. I thought my uh, my poise was going to be low. Oh, that's the wrong time to judge. Oh, he's so low. Please, 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 Stamina. Come back, Stamina. I just need one attack. Please. Oh, the javelin. Why are you so short? Oh, 
I use it because because it's got such good um, heavy scaling. But oh my god, it really is. It really is. Oh, I thought that was going to be a roll catch. I thought that was going to be a roll catch as well. That's, that was my two chances. Fluffed my lines on both opportunities there. He was so desperately low. And now we just go. We go oh, lovely R2 again. He's doing well. No, he is doing well. I, I can't underestimate the guy. He is using Perseverance too much, and I'm absolutely not going to fall for that. But he's, he is using some, a good mix of R1s and R2s. But once again, we're just gonna, we're just going to let my health tick back up. I don't want to I don't want to have to waste my essence. But if he's going to charge in, I'll happily go for a little turn of burn. Oh, again! That was a fraction. That was just a few frames away. Sure, that R2 was so close to catching him, but he did just get his second roll away. Oh, so I think I can beat him, but I do have to be very patient. And he is burning through his Estuses, fortunately. I am being a bit more reserved. I've only used three so far. He's definitely used a blue. Um, I'm not sure. He's used at least twice as many as me. Maybe three times as many? I'm not sure. But um, this will very much be a slow and steady wins the race type of thing, I reckon. I'll just have to pick, uh, really try and space him and pick my opportunities. Trading with him doesn't work, unfortunately. So I have to remember that if, if I do take one trade with him, I should... No! It's so tempting! It's so tempting just to press R1! I can't... I don't listen to my own advice. But I go for a rolling R2, though. That's enough to knock him out. And now... Oh, he's low. Oh, and I'm getting support. Am I going to be nice? No, I'm not going to be nice. I'm going to use this fully to my advantage. I need to... I need to try and be as, as assholey as I can. I need to use this hollow to my advantage. Punish him where I can. I'll take this opportunity to heal up myself because I am getting quite low. And one more trade would finish me off and I don't want that to happen. But he's, he's, he's been nervous. He's been backed up by the hollow. Okay, he's only gone for two swings. I was hoping for a few more. Yeah, conserving his stamina. Back, fair play to him. Oh, this is, yeah, this is, <laughs> this is really going to be a war of attrition. I can feel it. I wonder how long. But yeah, but he is burning through these essences, though, which is great for me. Um, although I am the L1 dancing. We're all L1 dancing now. I just give you a chance to back up and just let my health tick up just a little bit. Because as I say, I have to be, I have to be sparing with my Estus. He's going to have twice as many as me. Um, he has definitely used at least twice as many. I would think probably three times as many by this point. I'm not sure how many he has left. But with any luck, he will have had to have tangled with the Lothric Knights and, and use up a few uh, against them. Um, but yeah, I can just, I'm more than happy just to sit it out, my friend. I'm more than happy to sit it out to let my health tick back up slowly. That's more than fine with me. And then when you come in and challenge, you just, yeah, you just keep L1 dancing, mate. And then when you come and challenge me, then we can have a fight. I'll spin on the spot, you can L1 dance. This is just the battle of poise, monster. the absolute stalemate of poise. This is what I love. This is what it's all about. But okay, I, I'm not going to chase him to turn and burn to my friend. Oh, but there's my R2. Into my follow-up R1. Oh, it's just a mess. Poise battles are just such a mess. But okay, so I have... have um. We did about similar damage there. I was mixing up R2s into R1s, so I was able to compensate for the um, for his his AR, um, his higher AR than mine. Um, that we did actually do a quite a neutral amount of damage. If he's going to heal up, then I'm going to back up. I'm going to Sun Princess because, as I said, I want to no, not obscuring. There we go, Sun Princess. So I want to be as um, careful as possible, as absolute frugal as possible. I want to be very thrifty because um, I just want to use these very sparingly. Uh, just let my health tick up naturally if I can. If he's going to goof about and um, and just L1 dance, okay. Well, let's not. Well, let's not do throwing guys, mate. But that seemed to do so little damage. Um, I'm guessing he's got zero dex on his build. Um, strength all the way, because those throwing knives seem to do absolutely nothing to me. I'll do the little duck game, I'll do a little backwards and forwards if you're going to try and do this. See if you can hit the target. Yeah, you can have one dance, you can have one dance and applaud all you want, mate. But I have to be, I have to be sensible here. I can't just rush in and, and um, I haven't got Estesis to burn through. So I'm just going to let my double healing now took me up. I'll have a little seat as you clap. You applaud away. Thank you, sir. I'm, t I'm taking this as not sarcastic applause. I'm taking this as, well done, good sir. You have pushed me to my limits. <laughs> and I'm just going to have a little seat and, uh, and, uh, and rest over here, I think. What's he doing? Is he just going to, is he not going to, he's not going to challenge at all, is he? But that's fine. I don't mind him not challenging. That's not a problem for me. I'm more than happy just to let my health, just get this residual healing up. Uh, let the double, oh no, he's had enough. He's, he's coming to challenge. He's had enough. No, I am watching. I don't, don't think I'm, uh, don't let my uh, sleeping fool you, sir. I am absolutely watching you. I've got my eyes on you all the time, but I'm just, just taking it, taking it easy. Yep, yeah, I know, I know. You just applaud away. And I'll take this opportunity to have a little, uh, have a little drinky, I think. Okay, well that's quenched. My uh, my thirst there, so I'm uh, ready. I'm ready to get back in the action. I think uh, f refueled and ready to go. 
But <laughs> obviously, by that I mean continue to sit on the floor and let my health tick up. Oh, he seems pleased with himself. Why is he celebrating? Oh, that, that's why he's celebrating. I've waited too long. And he's managed to find a summon sign. Now, um, I guess the question is, do you think this is a friend? Or do you think this is a, uh, a rando? Well, we shall see. Well, I have support. Okay, I have my two hollows here. He's not used a seed on me, fortunately, as I'm surrounded by these two hollows, just, just walking very slowly backwards and forwards. Just, just, they, all they want to do is get into shot. They're just fame hungry, these two hollows. Just like, hey, hey, do you, do you see me? I'm here. I'm here as well. So who have we got? We've got Jason Foyce. Oh, Jason is straight on me. Did you see that? No waving, no bowing. He didn't even try and get, get his bearing. He just spawned in and he ran straight at me. Okay. So so I definitely get the feeling that Jason Voorhees, he's taken a break from killing uh, killing teenagers from camp. I don't know what, oh he's a double gold as well! Oh he's got his serious friend in, okay. But I'm definitely thinking this is a friend of his and not some random. Because that was too, that was too quick. He, uh, he seemed to understand what was going, what the situation was far too quickly uh, for him to be just um, coming in uh, without any knowledge of the situation. But okay, so he's been he's been um, hunter charm unfortunately for me. But I will be able to trade. With, oh, okay, roll into that. Roll into that. I think I think I did just see have a monster. Yeah, okay, I did just see have a monster. So let's just back up a little bit. Let's get the two crossboy boys. Um, crossbow boys. <laughs> That's a bit of a tongue twister. But let's get them just aiding me a little bit as my health continues to stick up. And then I do obviously have the big axe man. Should I need it, we can bring out the big guns. But <laughs> he was <laughs> so quick to chase after me. But now, okay, here he comes. But uh, he was just taking his time a little bit there. Okay, let's see how you deal with the ball. Okay, good. Oh, that's the thing. He's always going to be able to outrange me, unfortunately. Um, so I will have to get my spacing and timing pretty spot on it. Oh, no! Stop bullying Andrew against his great axe! It's not his fault that he's got such a stunted reach. Stop bullying the man, please, for the love of God! Oh, I thought that was going to be a roll catch. Roll into that again. Okay. That's, oh, that's a worthwhile trade. He has killed off Axeman. Panic rolls! Oh, I thought I was just going to catch his panic rolls there. He went for three in a row as he circled around me. And I was just hoping I was going to catch him, but no, he managed to get away from me. Um, so I have lost Axeman, unfortunately, but I did manage to get a good bit of chip on him. That'll definitely be at least one Estus that he's had to use. And I do still have the crossbow, lads, to give me the additional bit of, um, a bit of ranging. Oh, that's it. You go for a rolling attack, mate, with zero poise. That's absolutely the way to go. Um, okay, but now he's on me now. He's on me, so I've got to be careful about this. Because it's a very good chase down weapon. I think we, I think I saw Cyrus doing some L1 dancing in the background. So I'm, I'm going to not, I don't want to be in this situation. I'm going to bounce straight off. Hope for the best and not a plunging attack. Okay, managed to get, oh, he's getting a bit greedy though. He's, and he's on his own. He's on his own. <laughs> he got too so greedy. He got separated from his friend. He really was thirsty for the kill. Um, or hungry for the, uh, either one. I think either one is applicable in this situation. He was... Thirsty and hungry. He was famished. <laughs> he was absolutely famished. He wanted me completely. And um, and yeah, poor old Jason. I don't. I'm not sure if he um, thought I was panic rolling away from him. I'm not sure if he realised I actually had him in my sights the whole time. I actually my, had my camera firmly on him. I just fortunately I know this area so well that I know I, I can I can sort of run in a direction without really looking. But I uh, was able to get him. Um, that Estus recharge that he gave me didn't really get a, um, amount to much because I did have to uh, spend an Estus. So that's basically nullified instantly. But I'm at least down to, um, at least back down to what a one on one. And now I just have to try and find the host because uh, in all the flurry of activity there, when me and Jason dropped down, I've completely lost Cyrus. He's, he wisely stayed up on the bridge. Well, I suppose if he, if he had come down with us, he would have been at least uh, able to support his buddy. And I might not have been able to finish him off with the turn and burn. But now I now is a real gamble. Just roll through there because I don't want to be caught if he's in the corner. Um, but my spidey senses are telling me that he's probably going to want to summon in. That, that Jason is his friend and he's probably wanna, going to want to buy time uh, to re-summon his friend is, is, what, uh, is what my spidey senses are telling me for sure. So um, it's going to be, and unfortunately because all the uh, enemies are dead uh, in this sort of first run up, to at least the second bonfire practically. Yeah, pretty much everyone will be gone by then. Yeah. Um, I won't be getting any clues from um, from the enemy. So we're going to have to really start from the beginning. Go all the way back to the first room. Try and check every corner. We're full, back up to full health so and go back to the Clarinthi. Um, can I see him hiding in any corners? Are there any boxes? Any, any chandeliers there that look like out of place? Couldn't see anything, but I didn't give it a good check. This is the, this is the annoying thing. I didn't give it a real good test. Um, but I, I have, I, unfortunately, time is against me. Because I know that um, that he is just waiting for uh, for Jason to drop his sign again. I'm not quite sure how long the um, the timer countdown. If he's on a if he's on a password, I don't think there is a countdown. 
I'm not 100 percent sure on what um, on what how, what the situation is now with summons, um, but uh, but I really I really feel like time is against me as the seconds tick by. Oh, hello there, buddy! Don't try don't try and hide around the corner. That was far too late. I saw you, mate. Can I can I bait you into? Can I pretend that I'm going up the ladder and get you to drop down? Will that work, maybe? Sir? No? <laughs> Are you not going to drop down? Are you waiting for Jason to put his sign up there for you? Hello? I can see your feet. I, saw, I can see your feet, sir. I know you're up there. There's no point. My vision isn't based on movement. I can see you. I know you're up there already. All right. I, well, I'm not sure. I, can I bait him? I don't know if I can just pretend to be going up the ladder. Fuck it. I'll just go up the ladder. Oh, is that the fat man? Okay, I do have the fat man as some support then. That's something to fall back upon, uh, should I need it. But let's try and hope that he's um, hope that he's still waiting up here. How did he know? How did he know I came up the ladder? How did he know I wasn't still waiting around the corner? The bastard! He's got some sort of sixth sense. It's unbelievable. Good, good play from him. But okay, so at least I know that he's gone back to the bonfire to probably yet. Yeah. What dark spirit? Why is he getting a and look L one L one dancing away? So I have the time is against me before more than likely Jason comes in again. I'm not sure why he's done it as a dark spirit. I'm not sure if that um, reduces the count. Oh, that was a poor roll, mate. That was a poor roll. Oh, and that was another poor roll. Okay, okay, we're down to halfway. Is that going to come? Okay, that's three for three, baby. That's three three. Oh, no, okay. He's finally sorted out his panic rolls there. Managed to get away from him, but he is getting low. He has notice how he has stopped the L1 dancing now <laughs> all of a sudden. But Jason, okay, it is Jason. Jason is in the room. The good thing about a red summon is that you don't spawn in where your sign was. That's gonna catch you! Oh, you're so low! Oh, you're so low! Please, please panic roll again! Please panic roll again! <laughs> We've got it, boys! L1 does! And here comes Jason! L1 does! Everyone gets an L1 does! You get a dance! You get a dance! You get a dance! Mate, too little, too late, mate, with your Gothards! You can try all your Gothard nonsense that now, mate! But that's far too late! Why these plots? Why did they use a red sign? I'm not sure if that um, reduces the summon time or something. Maybe they thought they wouldn't be able to get him with the white sign. But, the, but the, for, it worked against him because his spawn point was obviously so far away he wasn't able to get there in time. And I was able to clip a good GG point.